Welcome back guys, uh, welcome to a uh, kind of new type of videos that I'm here in my work uh, workhouse and I'm doing this video because uh, this is for CSI and NET, CSI and NET students who are going to appear into the December CSI and NET. So uh, kind of uh, 90 days are remaining in your hands. So you need to prepare really, really fast. So this is about a very quick tips for you guys to what to follow, what not to follow and all these things. Now uh, I'm going to do several videos about that. So this is one of the first video I'm going to do and this is to tell you about uh, stick to the basics because in any kind of exams, not only CSIR, you need to stick to the basics. But if we examine the CSIR questions, they ask you questions, you know, very, very basic things they will ask you. The very fundamental concepts they will ask, they will put questions from those fundamental topics and fundamental ideas. So you need to be very, very careful and very, very clear uh, about those concepts right and I'm going to tell you that uh, what happens in our uh, system of study we read a lot we read a lot even uh, whatever stream you are in you are in microbiology biotechnology zoology botany whatever in you have pro you probably heard or uh, learned a lot of things a lot more things if you're in zoology you've learned uh, those classification schemes subclasses types subtypes and all these things now I'm going to tell you all those things are not required for CSI and NET what is required is the basic concept it's the overview it's the big picture if you follow my videos in YouTube you'll find that I always uh, want to give you the big picture to give you the clear-cut idea that what's going on and that is the most important thing because you know in immunology for example I'm giving you some examples for in immunology uh, there are many different terminologies are there VLA, FLA, ICAM, VCAM and, and many different interleukins different interleukins have different functions toll like receptors different toll like receptors have different functions so there are many different varieties many variations are there many names are there and uh, what we do actually we we memorize all these things we mug up all those things and we we are actually putting all this pressure into our brain then finally uh, where it comes down to the concept we actually forget we never know how this process actually work right so you need to be very very clear about what is the process right the overview the big picture if I'm gonna ask you I'm gonna ask you some simple questions if you can answer that I'll think your concept is clear you know biology is always connecting concepts and building up them first then connecting those dots because you know if you look at a human being in the macro level in the major scale you find all these things physical functionality is going on uh, the system biology is going on inside that if you are going miniature level there are cells and they are having functions metabolism is going on regulation of metabolism is going on for the control of that metabolism genes are working all the time the RNAs are made they are translated into proteins and all these things are going on so if you connect those big picture or, or the macro scale with the micro scale that's the point of renaissance and that's what I'm going to tell you in all these cases for example you know many things about immunology that this is the function of macrophage this is the function of neutrophil and, and so on and on but if I ask you that can you give me an idea of uh, suppose a bacteria is infecting me a bacteria is inside my my tissue what are the sequential stages that are going to happen the overview the big picture in the same context when a bacteria is inside my tissue what is the function of a macrophage and how those function will be there step by step can you tell me if you can tell that you have a clear understanding of concepts of immunology you don't need to learn much you need to learn those basic concepts that if a bacteria enters what are the systems how they are interacting how they are working together if you know that it's fine you don't need to mug up all those full forms and names it's not that required though they give some questions but uh, it's not that much necessary if you think about in a whole right so stick to the basics clear the basic concepts now I'm gonna tell you another very shocking fact it is found most of the time and it's my personal opinion also that if you clear the concepts of 10 plus 2 I mean plus two, two, two level uh, biology that is there it is kind of 80 percent of CSI net you can be sure of because you know plus two level is the most important study level for whatever we study in future so if you be good at that level you know whatever topics you've covered in plus two level if you're having clear understanding because that is the time for building the actual concept you know because you know if we find and follow the concept in this case if you find or follow the concept uh, there are two types of graphs that I always uh, used to say my students one is uh, this you know triangle 
normal kind another one is a small dot in the bottom and on the top so I can draw it and I can show it to you there are two different types of triangles that people can look for based on the concept right type 1 and type 2 that I'm showing you here you can I, I think you can you can see this you know these are the two different types now this first one this type uh, second one this type the first one that I've seen here this is the type uh, of uh, the students who are having you know base you can see the base is very broad top is small this is the concept I want you definitely do not want this concept to happen because in this case you know the base is a point and you're just putting larger things up and what is the result ultimately falling down you know the one who is going to win is ha the one who is having the more broader base which is here this one right so that's why it's always important guys to make your base broader stronger and that's that's the general idea I'm not talking about in any philo philosophical aspects because that is the thing that is a true thing in all cases so you need to be strong in your concept do not focus on other mugging up things just clear your concept and you will get CSI and net believe me you need to clear the plus two level concept whatever different concepts are you need to be very very precise about that if somebody asks you, you can tell it if I ask you you need to demonstrate that in a layman so that a layman can understand you know the most important thing for a for a teacher or anybody else who, are, who is the explainer is to make things understand understood other, by other people now how we can do that if you can make a certain scientific thing understood by other layman you know that thing because you can't use any scientific terminologies just say it in the basic way what is it what is the function of it you, you're telling that it is having this and this and this terminologies I don't need to hear terminologies I need to hear what is the exact function in your uh, common language if you can say that you know that that is a kind of it's it's kind of golden uh, golden rule guys so you need to follow whatever it is the concept you need to be very very clear about the concept if you are clear about the concept of plus two level and the basics I think it is the first most important thing you need to do for cracking CSI and net, right?